A Big Bang engine is an unconventional motorcycle engine designed so that most of the power strokes occur simultaneously or in close succession. This is achieved by changing the ignition timing, changing or retiming the camshaft, and sometimes in combination with a change in crankpin angle. The goal is to change the power delivery characteristics of the engine. A regular firing multi-cylinder engine fires at approximately even intervals, giving a smooth running engine. Because of a Big Bang engine's power delivery imbalance, there exists more vibration and stress in the engine. Thus, the power peaks are very strong and can overwhelm the rear tire if used in a motorcycle, but when the rear tire does slide, the temporary lull in power between power strokes generally makes the slide easier to catch. Twins and twingles Topic parallel twins The classic British parallel twins BSA, Triumph, Norton, AJS and Matchless all had 360 degrees crankshafts that, compared to a single, gave twice as many ignition pulses which were evenly spaced. However, the 360 twin had a mechanical primary engine balance that was no better than a single. By contrast, Japanese parallel twins of the 1960s such as the 1966 Honda Black Bomber and the Yamaha TX500 adopted a 180 degrees crank that afforded perfect mechanical primary engine balance. However, the 180 degrees crank yielded some tingling secondary vibration which could be minimized with a balance shaft, and an uneven firing order. The Yamaha TRX850 pioneered the use of a 270 degrees crank. This configuration allowed a firing pattern more regular than a 180 degrees crank, and less regular than a 360 degrees crank. A 270 degrees crank gives the best possible secondary engine balance for a parallel twin, and its exhaust note and power delivery resembles those of a 90 degrees V-twin. Twingles <inaudible> 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 A twingle is a four-stroke twin-cylinder engine with an altered firing order designed to give power pulses similar to a single-cylinder four-stroke engine. Inline twins with a 360 degrees crankpin offset or flat twins can be easily converted into twingles by firing both of the cylinders at the same time and installing a camshaft or camshafts that operate both cylinders' valves in parallel. Because many such engines already employ the wasted spark principle, only the camshaft modification is necessary. The Vintage Dirt Track Racing Association 2010 rules have banned vintage motorcycles from being set up as a twingle. V-twins A narrow-angle V-twin such as the 45 degrees Harley-Davidson naturally has slightly unevenly spaced power strokes. By changing the ignition timing on one of the cylinders by 360 degrees the power strokes are very closely spaced. This will cause uneven fuel distribution in an engine with a single carburetor. The Harley-Davidson XR750 with twin carburetors was a popular bike to twingle. It had great success in flat-track racing. Four-cylinder engines. Note that typical two-stroke V4s have four crank throws or pins see below, so it is important to stipulate all four crank pin phases with the two-stroke engines. The «split» in this case is referring to the difference in phase between piston pairs in «opposite» banks that would normally share a crank pin in a four-stroke engine. The Ford V4s use split pin crankshafts, like many 60 degrees V6. Just as with a Boxer 4, piston pairs from opposite banks reach top dead center at the same time, but with a crankpin split of only 60 degrees instead of 180 degrees, potentially giving a shorter and stronger or stiffer crankshaft. For 60 degrees V6, the crankpins are usually split the other way causing the paired pistons to reach top dead center 120 degrees apart. Inline fours. A four-cylinder engine with a regular firing interval is sometimes referred to as a screamer. A long bang fires both pairs of cylinders in quick succession. The power delivery is identical to a parallel twin with a 180 degrees crank and similar to a V-twin. In 2005, Kawasaki experimented with this configuration on the ZXRR MotoGP bike. 
Topic: <laughs> Four-stroke V4. Topic: <laughs> Two-stroke V4. Typical two-stroke V4s have four crank throws, or crank pins, instead of the two that most four-stroke V4s have two connecting rods sharing each pin. This is primarily because each piston needed its own sealed crankcase volume for the purposes of efficient induction, where in some cases separate crankshafts served each bank in order to achieve this. The Honda NSR 500 began and ended its life as a «screamer», where the pistons were phased similarly to a four-stroke V4 with a 180 degrees crank. However, in 1990 Honda set the crankpin phases of each pair of pistons within each bank to be the same like a four-stroke 360 degrees crank, but with each bank's crankpins offset by 180 degrees to each other effectively splitting the pins and changing the V-angle, in terms of ignition timing. This was called a «big bang» engine. Yamaha created a big bang YZR500 in 1992. The YZR500 had two crankshafts like a U engine and the angle between each pair of cylinders was 90 degrees, like a V4. In 1997 Mick Doohan wanted to run a 180 degrees screamer engine. HRC crew chief Jerry Burgess explains why, the 180 got back a direct relationship between the throttle and the rear wheel, when the tire spun I could roll off without losing drive. The Big Bang has a lot of engine braking, so it upsets the bike into corners, then when you open the throttle you get this sudden pulse of power, which again upsets the suspension. Mick's secret is corner speed, so he needs the bike to be smooth and the 180 is much smoother. <laughs> 